Hey guys, this is Future One Tap here. I just want to explain some things about this series real quick. So pretty much you can see that the title says I Survived 300 Days Part 1. We're kind of going back to the old format of things. But this time, instead of only doing voiceovers, I'm going to be doing a mix. I'm going to be having some parts I'll just be voiceovering. And then I'll also do commentary too, so it'll just be like a mix. And don't worry, the day count will still always be in the bottom left corner. Well, that's enough me talking. I hope you guys enjoy this video. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be starting on day 204. There are some slight changes I made to the world, including upgrading the beacon, so now I can actually run a lot faster. I have speed 2 now. You can see right there I got speed 2, so it makes me run a lot faster. And I added a little path right here. I mean, I didn't really add it. I just extended it on down this way. Just a super simple path, not much details. And today I'm thinking of actually building a village trading hall or like a village trading station. I don't really know exactly what it's going to look like or where it's going to go, but I think it's it's going to be somewhere around here, either around here or like up here by the sugarcane farm. I'm not exactly sure yet, but first we're going to need to get the resources and somehow get a villager over here. All right, well, I mean, I guess we should just get straight into building it. So um, let's see, what kind of building material should we make it out of? Honestly, I think I'm gonna do some wood. I'll, I'll grab some oak and spruce. Where's the zombie? I hear a zombie. Hold on, we gotta find this. Is it in my garden? There's always a zombie in my garden, I swear. Oh, ex there, I knew it. There's literally a zombie here. He pick he stepped on one of the things and picked it up. He, he literally stole one of my wheat, dude. Okay, well, anyway, as I was saying, I'm just gonna grab some more, like, spruce, oak. I guess it'll probably be enough. There's a lot in there. Alright, I still hear zombies. They're probably below me, but I'm just gonna leave them alone. Hopefully they just despawn by himself. Okay, so if I was building it right here... Hold on, let me just let me just grab my wood out. I'm gonna do like a simple little layout. I kinda wanna build something right here, like along like this little hill. I think it'll look kinda cool. But I don't think I can build the village or trading hall there because it has to be straight. So I think I'm just gonna be building it um right here. I think I'll just build it right here for now. I'll just make like an outline and see what this looks like. I actually chain of mine, I'm just gonna build it over here instead. So I'm just gonna make like a straight line here. Uh I think that might be a bit too long. I don't know if it has to be that big. And then I'll just do this just as a basic outline to get an idea of what it's gonna look like. And let's fly out and just see what this looks like. Oh, that was a little bit too high. Okay. Yeah, it looks pretty good, I guess. Um, I mean we need to fill up more areas right there. Like right here, because this is all just blank. So we're going to get to that someday. But for now, we're just going to be working on this little section right here. All right, well, the first thing I did was I just patched up some of these holes with some dirt. So then it'll actually be some flat land. And I'm just going to extend the path over this way. I also need to go grab some slabs, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need slabs for this build. All right, I think I definitely have enough building items. I literally, like, grabbed way too many. I'm just going to put some of them away from the chest for now. Not a chest, I meant a shulker box. Okay, so I don't exactly remember how to make this, but first, okay, since I kind of know where it is, I gotta dig out a hole here, I'm pretty sure. Because I think this is where the zombie is gonna be. Because in this design that I'm building, it's gonna make, like, the trade super cheap. So there'll be a zombie running through here, and he'll be able to kill the villagers whenever we need him to. Or not kill them, but to, like, infect them so then we can cure them. And then it'll give us discounted trades. So the next couple of days is just me trying to build this thing, looking up designs, looking at my old worlds because I had this design in my old world like 500 times, and we were starting to make a little bit of progress. But the hardest part is just to get a villager in here. And also while I was building this, a horde of zombies approached me and actually got me to like half health. I don't know how that really happened. I added some leaves to the top to make it seem more alive because you know, we're kind of doing like a wooden style build. So at the end, this is kind of what I got. This was like my final design. So I have like pillars on the side with lanterns, I also added some slabs and trapdoors on the top, and I'm like overall really proud of this design. So my first night of trying to go hunt out for some zombie villagers, I actually found one. There was a bunch of zombies around it though, so I was trying to be really careful not to hit the zombie villager. But yeah, at the end, I managed to lure him into a hole, and I just kept him there until I could grab my materials to cure him. Alright, so I went back and grabbed some of my materials, I got the golden apple and also the weakness potion. I'm gonna have to make some more of those weakness potions, because I only have like one left, I'm pretty sure. So I have to splash the weakness potion on him, and then do the golden apple. There we go. He should be able to be cured soon. So I just kept on working on the other side of the village breeding station, or not breeding, like trading station, I guess. Yeah, I wanted to make it symmetrical. Oh, it started raining. <laughs> I was running out of slime balls for my sticky pistons because I needed that for the villager, like, trading hall. So I had to go down and grab some more slime. Hey, a little bit later, the villager finally cured, and it's back to a normal villager. 
So pretty much all of day 205 and 206 I just spent trying to clean up this build, finish it up, and I added some like decorations on the sides, I would finished the back, finally it took a long time. Like I was messing up dude, I was trying to make it perfectly symmetrical. And I finally got the villager, brought it in to its spot using a minecart, and he has beetroot, which is not a really good trade because I don't think I have any beetroot right now, but I think we can change that pretty easily. I placed some dirt blocks above the composter, broke it again so the villager could not escape. And now I gotta double check that he- yeah, okay, there, now he's not a farmer, I'll place it again and then he should turn back into a farmer. He has not yet, I'm waiting bud. There we go, he's now a farmer and we got the potato trade, that's really good. So I went out again to try to find another zombie villager, but this time I wasn't so lucky. But I did come across a baby zombie riding a chicken. That was unusual. Okay, so this was annoying, but I had to like completely redo the whole thing, like the whole fenced thing around this like village trading area because zombies were able to get in and attack my villagers. So this took a long time, but I had to fence over everything and make sure there was no way a zombie could just walk over or jump into this area. Next couple of days, I was trying to work on building a villager breeding place. Then when I get two villagers, I can just breed them together instead of just trying to find zombie villagers every single night. So I also added some bushes on the inside of this area just to make it look a little bit nicer. I mean, I liked it a lot better when the bushes were on the outside, but I can't do that because if I had the bushes on the outside, the zombies could just use those bushes and just jump right in. I said bushes a lot in this sentence. So I'm digging out a hole right now because I want to build this villager breeding thing underground because I thought it would look kind of ugly if it was above ground. So this is kind of what I got so far. Like I have a little farm area. It's kind of looking disgusting. Like honestly, I don't think it looks that great, but like it's a start. It's a start. All right. So I want to transport this villager down into the farm now. This is going to be kind of hard, but let's give it a shot. So I think I have to break that, and then I'll put that there. Actually, wait, hold on, let me, let me redo this. I think I'll need to break that underneath him, and then put rail underneath him, put them in the minecart, and then hopefully he gets inside the minecart. There we go, we actually got uh, it. No, no, chill, 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 don't suffocate, don't suffocate, but that scared me, hold on. I'm gonna go inside here and just push him out, he should not be down here. All right, there we go. Now he's moving. Okay, that's what we want. And I already built like a rail system, so it should go down and bring him straight into the farm. There we go. Now, uh, how do I do this without him escaping? I'm going to push him a little bit closer. All right, I need to break that, and then I'll break the minecart. Okay, there. Now, be a farmer. I'll close him up, and then hopefully he, he's a farmer. And I got to give him more carrots, because I only planted like a little bit of carrots back there. So I gave this dude a stack of carrots, and he's actually planting some seeds down. This is great. So I pretty much finished up this farm. I have a little minecart system that is connected up all the way to the very top, and we can transfer the villagers that are down in there up to the top when we are ready. So I was just chilling, like, I wasn't even trying to look for a zombie villager, but there was just one right there, right in front of my eyes. So that was actually really good, and a freaking jockey, one of those, like, baby jockey things, I don't know what they're called. Now it's day 212, and today I wanted to do something else other than working on that villager breeder thing. I wanted to do another color of my sheep farm, so today, and a little bit of 213, I just worked on my sheep farm and finished up another color. I actually ended up finding a zombie villager, but he was so far away from my base because I was just using my rockets to fly around and look. So now I gotta go and bring him all the way back. Okay, so now that our last villager is actually finally cured, we should be done with all this like villager breeding stuff. So that looks good. Oh, there's a, hold up. I'm gonna go, oh, his llamas died. I, I was gonna say, I'm gonna go check out this wandering trader, but his llamas are all dead. I guess I got another leash or lead, whatever it's called for free. Um, fire coral block, black tie, pumpkin, sand, light blue dye, and a blue ice. I mean, it's not really anything that we need, so I'm just gonna let you be. Alright, I actually gotta go back and- oh, there's more leather. Dude, his llamas just, like, died, bro. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Now I just need to grab some rails to transport that villager down. Alright, so I cleaned up some of the messy stuff, and we finally got the villagers up there, and everything is looking nice. There's no, like, rails, like- going all around here it's actually looking good we have the two villagers in there and then we have one villager up here that's farming for them wait it changed the potatoes i swear i gave him carrots maybe maybe i gave i think i gave him potatoes too never mind okay yeah um hopefully we start getting some baby villagers soon i'll have to come back and check later but now we gotta go do something else i don't really know what to do right now all right well i'll just leave those guys be hopefully they make some babies for us so we can actually use them Next up, I'm gonna want to make a automatic melon farm because when I have- or like pumpkin, melon slash pumpkin farm. Because I can use that to trade for emeralds and I think it's a really good way to get emeralds, like fast. So we're gonna need a ton of- let me think, I don't exactly know. 
I think we're gonna need- Okay, I know we're gonna need observers, that's for sure. I have one. Wait, I think I have more. I have to have more, right? We're also gonna need just normal pistons, so those should be pretty easy to make. I think I have some normal pistons, don't I? Oh, I, I have two normal pistons. Okay, I'm gonna need to make a lot more than that. Pretty much the rest of day 216 was just me grabbing materials and just finding all the stuff I needed for this build because I needed a lot of redstone things. I also made another shulker box and I named it build materials because I'm going to be storing all the materials I need for this build inside the shulker box so it's just more simple and not clogging up my inventory. Now here's just a little time lapse of me building this thing, enjoy. So now I'm finally finished up with this melon farm. It looks kind of ugly right now, but when I build around it, it should look a lot better. So like whenever a melon thing grows, the piston should come out and push it. You can hear them going on right now. So like when a melon grows, the piston will push it and then it should come out in the- Oh, we already have one. It should come out in that chest. See, I think there's like a ripe stem thing. Yeah, it's right there. Oh, I have to build right here. I have to put blocks right here so they don't grow on this side. I'll do that later. All right, well, that's the that's the pumpkin farm. I think, did, was I saying pumpkin or was I saying melon? I don't even know. But yeah, that's the pumpkin farm. Let's go check out to see if we have any baby villagers or if any villagers have come. They definitely have had to. I've had this thing running for like four or three in-game days. Wow, yeah, there's like three villagers in there. That's actually really good and they've all grown up already. So next episode, we can probably move those up. Like we are pretty much set for next episode. We have our melon farm, so we can get pretty much unlimited melon production and we can turn those melons into emeralds right at our villager trading hall. Wow, come on, why does there have to be a storm when I'm about to do the outro of this video? Well, yeah, that's probably going to be it for today, guys. I did a lot in this episode, I think. Let's see if we can hit 200 likes this video. Last video, I asked for like 100, I think, and we hit 460. So today, I'm going to ask for 200. Let's see if we can beat that. Oh, oh, ow, 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 calm down, bro. I'm trying to do the outro. Can't you see, dude? There's just, okay, I, I got to run. All right, here, we'll, we'll do the outro under down here. I haven't been in here in a while. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.